first moved to Seattle, I hated coffee because I came from Michigan where everyone drank Folgers. And I thought it was the most disgusting thing I'd ever had. And I had a mocha about two years after I moved here. I had a mocha and I was hooked from that moment on. And I don't think there's been a day I haven't had coffee since 1990. <laughs> If you're really about the beautiful coffee and you can run a business, you'll be in business forever because the chain stores can never touch the quality of a person that cares about espresso preparing it for you. Never. And they wind up going to Starbucks. Says, well, I know I'll get consistent coffee that way. It may be consistent, but it's consistently bad in my mind. And, and I, I think it's, when they taste it, they know it's consistently bad. They're just, they're just kind of like dumbing down and basically saying, okay, well, it's coffee kind of like back at home. But you're not at home. Experience something different. Experience the local taste. And that's not, Starbucks is not a local taste. It's, it's corporate taste. This is a side note, but quit putting Italian lira in my tip jar. God, that drives me crazy. Anybody who goes to Italy decides it's real funny to put like Italian money to put, well, I guess maybe they're using the euro now, so that won't happen anymore, but it drives me crazy. We end up with like money from like a $5 bill from Zimbabwe. You don't like that? It drives me crazy. I like that. Well, it's just funny. I'm like, why? I like that. Like, you is don't that have something to that people to carry in their pocket and just randomly gets tossed in there, or is that like intentional? Like, I'm going to put this Zimbabwe dollar. I just, I don't understand it. Particularly the lyric, I think it's their way of saying, like, hey, I know what coffee's about. <laughs>